Hey guys, how's it going? Kapran here. Today I want to show you guys, of course, the longest game of Hearthstone I ever played. Now, I'm not sure if it's time-wise the longest game ever, because I've basically encountered games that last nearly as long, where just my opponent ropes every single turn. So it may not be time-wise the longest game ever. It might be, because it's, it's really long, but it's definitely the most turns I've ever had to go through in any one game. So it was... It was very interesting in that sense, and, um, well, I kind of want to uh, present that and give you guys a bit of the framework. So right now, because of Reno Jackson, and uh, with some decks uh, being able to uh, stack a lot of extra health, for instance, um, you know, the Warriors get that nice little buff from Justicar. Um, all this has made it so games can last a lot longer, and these type of decks can outlast aggro decks, which really was not the case uh, before the League of Explorers had come out. So this change makes it so the latter experience is one where you actually frequently battle against control decks. And a lot of people have had some opposition to this. Now, I don't think it's um, really a bad thing in the general case. And, you know, it's not exactly proof. But from what I've seen, feedback about Hearthstone on the forums and the Reddits, all that kind of stuff, right before League of Explorers, people were complaining so much about how Secret Paladin was just making the game completely unfun and all the other aggressive decks that had to be played to keep up with the deck were also very unfun to play against. But these days, you don't really see these complaints, uh, even though when you bring up the topic, there seems to be a group that doesn't enjoy it too much. But the case is that games last a lot longer now. Even if you choose to play like a face hunter, your games are going to last a lot longer because you're not going to be playing against other aggressive decks. You're going to be playing largely against other decks that are going to try to outlast you or play at the very least some kind of mid-range game. And uh, yeah... People don't really like this because they really want the game to last a very short time. There's some arguments to fast decks being very high skill based. I would say that that is true. Uh, it's just, in Hearthstone, the required skill to pilot a deck just doesn't come up that frequently. And I'd say it's a matter of frequency rather than objectively on a deck. So, you know, a, a, a deck like uh, the old Patron Warrior, I'd say probably like 70 to 80% of the time, uh, a skillful player would be able to show his skill and win the game because of it. Uh, I'd say in a general control deck, it's probably sub 50%. But I'd say in like a face hunter type aggro deck or secret paladin type uh, aggressive deck, we might be looking in the single digits. Um, so that's just my opinion. And I think that on at least on a personal level, but it's I think fairly well represented in the community, at least right now, it's much more enjoyable to play one slow game where there's a lot of interactions and decision making rather than three fast games in the same time where there's none. So with that, I'll leave you guys my longest game ever. And uh, this might be not quite to this degree, but it's a similar experience to what you can expect in Hearthstone Ladder for now. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Let's keep up BGH. I don't want to lose against another control warrior. Eighty percent highly favored. Oh, come on. Do you know how unlikely it is to draw this shit in this deck? Come on, cold light. Come on, cold light. Damn! Take that. I'm ahead of the armor tempo. <laughs> Dem plays this game. Ah! Whoa! What's that? I can take the hit. Oh. I can fast forward on the armor ups. What we do. I'm not burning a shield slam, fuck that. What the f 
fact this isn't Bob Ross. This is The Joy of Armor, starring Golden Magni and Golden Garrosh. Armor made to mm. The armor is so tasty. Fuck. Welcome to the Grand Tournament, Champion. I cannot do that! Oh, give me the cold light. Cold light. Cold light the cold light. Cold light the cold light. Cold light the cold light. Let's go. Oh. I can take the hit. It would have been a quad mill if I got cold light at the cold light. Armor made to fit. Oh my god. Alright, give me a cold light. <laughs> he has to play something, he's on 10 cards. Damn it. This is actually the slowest game I've ever played. <laughs> Metapod fight. Harden. Harden. <laughs> get <her shit. laughs> I gotta get him to commit a cruel task. It's a 10 car, he's gotta commit something. Committed. Shield slam's gone. I could just shield slam that, but then that would suck. Otherwise, I could cruel task. There goes Belcher. other things. Bash again. Slam. Oh, he doesn't want to draw. Okay, he knows what's up here. I can take the hit. Arena for 15. Probably should. We're gonna be rich. Sit on it. This is going to fatigue. Yeah, but if it goes through all my armor and I'm at 15 life, each fatigue tick is gonna be like 20. Damage. So, I'm not using shield block because I don't want to draw any cards at all. I'd really like to draw uh, Death Lord though. This guy's playing regular Control Warrior, so it's very hard for him to win. But he's playing it right. He's drawing as few cards as possible. Welcome to the Grand Tournament, Champion. Oh. What six damage? Oh, we have to play something. They should mean. I can take the hit. I really just want to draw Cold Light and Death Lord. He's gonna brawl here for sure, if he's drawn it. Yep. <laughs> I 
still have every single piece of removal, so... Oh, Colite doesn't actually mill him right now. gonna be the cruel task. Heal bot's pretty bad as well, but if I can get the Death Lord or the Belcher, I'm in pretty good shape. Oh, I guess there's an Execute left. Oh god, we have three pretty bad draws then. Okay, well, let's just play the Ice Hell. We still have all our removal, so BGH really doesn't do anything. It's not even tempo BGH, it's a don't discard BGH. I really think if I draw Death Lord, the, the right play might be to shield slam it. Maybe not though, it was a lot of cards. His cards are acolytes, right? He probably has a shield block, at least one shield block. So he has three cards he can't play. So maximum he has six cards. Okay, six cards, keep that in mind. One, two, three, four. I've got the bees in my face. Okay. I guess if he has one creature over me, he can't win. I'm sure he has Dr. Boom. Can't use the other brawl. This weapon's really fucking annoying. stage in the game where I could make a big mistake, and that may have been one of them, but the other play could also be a big mistake. So I have to save Brawl for Dr. Boom. The next card that he plays, I'm going to Cruel Task Execute. So he has three cards that draw cards that can't be played, and then Dr. Boom is one of those cards that gets brawled, and the other one gets shield slammed, and the other one gets Cruel Task Executed. So I can't lose this game. That was the correct play. I can't lose this game anymore. Okay. the brawl, you're banned. <laughs> yeah, that could happen, I guess.
this raid, I'm gonna win, I believe. Because he goes to lower HP first, then I can manipulate the health of Cold Light. If I play Cold Light first, he's gonna kill me with Gromish. Let's just kill Protoss. Damn. He has to kill me this turn. He's dead. I dream and the world turns. What the fuck? Metapod wins. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, guys, that was that was actually my first forty-minute game ever.